Ah, the humble person, no done. He can move left and right, jump with a B button, and throw punches with Y. Not much is wrong in his life, except for one thing. He can't reach this apple. Now, he can jump, but he can't jump high enough, and the apple remains outside of his grasp. What we're gonna do today is add a double jump feature so that this person can reach their apple. We'll be working with the B button, so we'll put it here to the side. And one of the first things we'll be doing is adding a touch sensor. We're going to attach this to the bottom of the person so we can tell when he is touching the floor. We'll attach the touch sensor and we'll change what it's checking for. We'll select anything that would make up our floor and we'll change the connection points to Y positive, Y negative. actually be moving the person Nodon into his double jump using a secondary object. So we'll add in a moving box and attach that to the person Nodon. We'll set it to movable only for now and put it to the side. Now we can start putting on some basic logic Nodons that we'll need. We'll start with two and no dots. We'll be using these to check for specific cases. One, for whether or not he's on the ground, and two, for whether he has touched the ground since we've last pressed the button to jump. We'll add a calculate note on further down the road, and a constant for the jump force of the double jump. And then we'll be adding a flag so that we can keep track of whether the person has touched the floor since we last pressed the double jump button. We'll add a not node on so we can easily check when the floor is not being touched. Now we'll connect the button press to the first and, along with checking for whether the floor is being touched or not. If it's not being touched and we press the button, we'll go on to our second check. In this one, we'll see if the floor has been touched since we last pressed it. So we'll connect the touch sensor and the first AND case to the flag. We'll connect the flag to the second AND case. We'll connect that to the calculator. And this constant will set to 25. That's the force multiplier. We'll take that input, multiply it by 25, and that will go into the Y slot of the moving box. We'll also increase the person's jump strength to four to make this work better. And we have a basic double jump working. I'm sure he could go for the apple at this point, but he probably wouldn't feel too proud of himself because he doesn't look that great yet. So let's add some effects and sound. We can add an effect right next to the person node on, connect it, change the effect location to world, and have it be activated by the second check of the double jump button. We'll make sure to turn that invisible. We can also add a sound effect to help sell the jump. Not that one. That's better. Now I'll just make the touch sensor invisible, and I think it's time.